What's up YouTube? It's Bullseye Nate 231 and this video is going to be five things you didn't know about your Toyota 4Runner. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through and show you a couple of things that sometimes people have questions about, don't realize uh, that their car can do or what things are for. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start off here at the glove box. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, be sure to hit that subscribe button down there and also make sure you ring that bell so you get my notifications. Here is the glove box. All right, so just like any normal glove box, right? Well, if you look close, there's actually a second compartment that pops down. So this is where, you know, you can keep stuff that you don't want to get mixed up in your regular glove box. You have a secondary glove box. Um, so that's something that's kind of cool. Um, most people don't realize that that secondary glove box is there. So you have the first glove box, secondary up here. So that's kind of a cool hidden feature. Uh, next, we're going to go to the center console. So if we open this up, I know I got a lot of stuff in here. Uh, but down here on the front, um, you probably can't see that, but down here on the front, there's actually a plug outlet, so the car has a built-in inverter. Um, this is a 2003 Limited, so um, basically if you see, you see this is AC 115, so basically this is how you turn on and turn off your plug outlet. Um, so I mean you can't plug something crazy big in there, um, but you know charging a cell phone instead of using one of these little converters. Sometimes people think that that switch over there is controlling this. This is actually always on when the car is on. This turns the plug outlet on that's inside the center console. It's in here on this wall. Um, so be sure and check out your car, see if you have one of those. We're gonna, next, we're gonna take it back to the gas cap here. So uh, you see when you go to get gas, you open this up and most people just let this hang, okay? Well, that can like scratch your paint and stuff. So they actually make this little piece that your gas cap hangs right in. So while you're pumping gas, your gas cap is hanging right there. Okay, number, let me close this back up. Number four, this thing. What in the world is this thing for? All right, so there's a couple of different options here. If you look at the manual, the manual actually says that this is to hold your umbrella. <laughs> random yes I know but uh, basically if you get in you can stick your umbrella and you know it'll stand up right here so you can grab it easily um, the other option I've also seen people they put trash bags in there so you go on a road trip stick a, just stick a Walmart bag or something in there um, then you got a little place to keep your trash but it's, it's not real sturdy um, it's not designed to hold anything really a lot of weight uh, it's just basically an extra little piece um, to help give you some versatility in your vehicle Lastly, but not least, how to take your spare tire off. All right, so I'm gonna do another video on how to actually drop your spare tire and all that. But a lot of people are wondering, what is this hole for? Why is this made like this? So basically, um, you open up your spare tire changing kit and they got this rod that has a square and you stick that all the way in there and it locks in and when you twist that loosens the cable to drop the spare tire which is located right there onto the ground um, so if you didn't know what that random hole was for that's what that hole is for like I said there's gonna be a video coming on how to actually change the spare tire if you don't know how to do that uh, but thanks for watching just wanted to go through some quick tips and things you may have not known about your forerunner y'all be sure and subscribe I'll see y'all next time.